Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, what's up? <laughs> and if you're a returning subscriber, hi, all five of you. <laughs> How you guys doing? So, if you don't know who I am, my name is Sally, and I'm a professional videographer, photographer, and Today's video, I'm going to teach you guys how to use Lightroom presets, tell what Lightroom is, basically just teach you all that you need to know to edit a photo and make it your aesthetic for it. Everything here is free. There's nothing that you have to pay for and you don't have to make your own presets. I don't make my own presets because I'm lazy and nobody, nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Let's get into the first thing. What are presets? Presets are basically filters, except they're usually made by photographers and they, they're just filters basically and they are used in Lightroom. Lightroom is an app which used to be available only on desktop and it is a paid software. Until recently they decided to make it mobile and there's now Lightroom Mobile which is free to use and free to download. And inside the app there are features that you can use to change your photo and so on and so forth. And there are premium features which you need to pay for but you don't need to use the ones that are premium, you just need to use the basic ones. Excuse me if the sound is a bit echoey, I do not have a microphone as yet. Also, excuse the situation in my mouth, there's a lot happening there. I make notes so that I can give you all the tea. Also, please subscribe. <laughs> please subscribe and please like and follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. Also, the one thing that you must note about presets is that a lot of the presets that you will find online will be made specifically on a picture of a girl who is a fair skin tone or like a light skin girl or a white girl and body and there's trees and there's more times lovely but not everyone lives like that and not everyone is of fair face skin tone which is why when the presets are just pasted on they'll look orange <laughs> the three basic apps you will need which are all three is google chrome dropbox and lightroom mobile like your mobile is free to get on the App Store and I'm assuming it's free to get on the Play Store as well but I'm not sure about Android. First thing you're going to do is go to App Store, go to App Store, go to search, search Light Room Mobile. And I've heard people pay for this. Ah! <laughs> Don't pay for it, it's free. Now that you have Lightroom, then the next thing you're going to do is go on to YouTube. So let's go on to YouTube and don't mind me watching Dr. Phil. <laughs> the preset that I've been seeing has been that one where everything around them is peach and all the greens are grey and all the every other colour is basically washed out and everything is peach. Now when you go onto the opening page of the Lightroom Mobile Peach presets you will see that there are a lot of presets. A lot of people are selling, a lot of people are putting them available for free. They are quite a lot and can be quite overwhelming. So what I suggest is I go to this girl's channel. Her name is The Pulling Show or The P Pulling Show? Pulling? That's her, that's her name and that's her channel. What I suggest you do is just go subscribe quickly to her channel and look at all of her videos. Let's just go on to her channel quickly and just see. Her videos mostly pertain to Lightroom Mobile and presets and all of that. There are tons of presets to choose from and she makes them available for free. So it's very, very easy to use. You are now going to go through all of the presets and decide which one you want to choose. We will choose this one with Trinidad what what what. I think it looks pretty nice and actually all her presets are nice. But let's choose this one for now. You will then go into her description box and it is important that you look for the Dropbox link. There will usually be a Dropbox and a Drive link. Choose the Dropbox link rather than the Drive link because the Drive link can be sometimes a bit too tedious. So look for the Dropbox link and click Dropbox. Click Open with Google Chrome and make sure that all your apps are already installed. Make sure that you're signed into Chrome, signed into Lightroom, signed into Dropbox, and make sure that everything is on point. Then you're going to click continue to website. It'll take you to this page and you're going to click in the top left corner and you're going to say view an app. It'll take you to the Dropbox app where you will find this screen. You will then click the three little dots on the top right and say export. Upon exporting, you will now 
<laughs> open it with Lightroom. Then you're going to get asked if you want Lightroom to launch it now or launch it later. And you're going to say launch Lightroom now. It will then take you onto the main page in Lightroom. And you will be able to see all your photos that are exported. At the top is all of your pictures and all of your presets. They must be in DNG format, not PNG, not JPEG, DNG. And this is what it looks like. <laughs> so you're going to click on the DNG file and click the three little dots in the top right. <laughs> Those three little dots will then put up a, they'll pull up a menu um, and you will click create preset. Let us name this preset. We will name it Trinidad. <laughs> and then you can save this preset and use it for all the other times. And you don't have to keep adding the preset all the time. It will always stay in your presets. When you open Lightroom, there will be a little bit like some options at the bottom there. And you will click the one at the bottom, which is presets, and you will click user presets. All the other presets are still there, but they're quite useless. <laughs> just, just click user presets. So click in the user presets, you will then click Trinidad because that's what we named it, and it will then apply your preset for you. The world keeps burning. Here is another picture for us to edit guys. Let's go back to presets and choose Trinidad again. And he have Trinidad looking quite okay. Looks quite okay. But I do want it to be, I do want to have some few changes. So I'm gonna up the contrast a bit. Make it a little bit more exposed. Little bit, little bit, little bit. Some highlights in my skin. I'd like some highlights on my glasses to come through. Um, shadows a bit lifted, a little bit lifted, a little bit. This is your personal preference once again, guys. This is not set in stone. This is your personal preference. Do whatever you want, however you want it. Gonna go to color, make it a bit nice and vibrant. Nope. Okay, this is fine. I do want some grains. I'm gonna go to effects and go to grain and up the grain a bit actually a lot <laughs> and up the size of the grain as well so it can be nice and grainy and here's my photo quick and easy I I don't know if I like it but it's simple quick and easy and for the purpose of the tutorial it actually it's actually quite dope <laughs> go to the box save to camera roll maximum available and render your picture Okay guys, let's edit another picture. This is another one that I took in the shop as well. So we're going to go just as the previous time to presets and click Trinidad. And here is Trinidad looking very nice actually. So now you're going to go to any of the controls and change whatever you like. I'm just going to go to light, increase the contrast. I want some highlights. Um, I want the shadows gone. But I do want it to be more saturated. So I'm gonna go to color, vibrancy. I really like that actually. Vibrancy. That's actually very, very cute. <laughs> this is this is that preset, boy. <laughs> Sorry, I got <laughs> Sorry, <clears throat> back to business. <laughs> so here is the preset and I like it. I'm going to leave it exactly like this. So I'm going to go to that little box with the arrow, save it to camera roll, maximum available, and it's going to save it to your camera roll. Come back to my home screen. There is also another bonus app that I'd like to show you guys. The app is called Unam or Anam. That one. <laughs> and it is an app to visualize your Instagram grid without actually posting on Instagram. So let's go here to photography and open Unam. Okay, let's delete these because these are just examples. That's going to be the exact same thing, basically. Alright, so here we are in Unum. And this is basically my Instagram feed. As you can see, just a disgusting mess. <laughs> it's messy as hell. <laughs> but we're working on it step by step. <laughs> and what you can do is you can just add pictures in this grid. And you can actually see what your grid will look like before actually posting. So let's add a few of these ones that we just edited now. 
because we have a preset most we're also preset babies so <laughs> i'm gonna click the ones that you just made one two three four say done and here they are they will be all in a row and you can just mix and match if you like see then now that's better you can visualize it better if you feel like maybe you want to put yourself on the side or yourself in the middle you can always just mix and match it you can do whatever you like but as you can see you are able to see that if you have this preset consistently on your feed your feed will look basically like this from now until forever and <laughs> that's people that's how people um are able to achieve constant a constant color on their feeds basically and as always you can edit the preset to your liking guys you can make it whatever you want to make it and just be creative and just be free with the presets because the presets are for free <laughs> all right guys so okay this is the app and i'm visualize the grid be an instagram person pop on instagram you know what i'm saying do the things and that is all for now <laughs> let's go back to the screen Alright, cool, 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 Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to come back, please do. I do videography and photography and I am working 100% of the time, but <laughs> I will try to be more consistent. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be more consistent because I have to <laughs> and I am tired of being the inconsistent YouTuber and people meeting me in the streets on some hey, Boy, if you don't! Alright, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a lovely day and goodbye.